Artificial ground freezing represents the safest and most comprehensive way to increase ground strength. Thermal stabilization of ground with cooling tubes inhibits permafrost thawing under buildings and structures, and this prevents settlement and the consequent destruction of foundations. Correct management of ground freezing is virtually impossible without long-term forecast data for temperature distribution during construction on permafrost and during the deployment of artificial ground freezing technologies. The resulting forecast data is crucial for the development of effective technical solutions for the management of ground thermal modes. Professional computer simulation in the design phase can reduce costs by up to 70% during construction and operation of buildings and reduce the risk of accidents by up to 90%. The following is an introduction to ground freezing modeling techniques on a hypothetical geotechnical site with the computer-aided engineering software solution FROST3D. Generally, computer model construction consists of three steps. In the first step, CAD designs of the projects are used to integrate the boundaries of the simulation domain and the location of construction objects and cooling devices. In the second step, the reconstruction of 2D contours in 3D geometry is performed. There is a sandy embankment at the top of the modelling region, where the building with relatively warm foundations is located. For each soil layer, the heat capacity and thermal conductivity in thawed and frozen states and phase transition temperatures are set. The working conditions of the cooling devices are also set. In the third step, the computational mesh is created. Two intermediate soil layers are rendered invisible in order to demonstrate how the cooling devices are located inside the soil. In this step, boundary conditions are set. Boundary conditions may be of the first, second and third type. For this particular problem, the boundary condition is of the third type with the temperature parameter of plus 50 degrees Celsius set on the soil surface. We therefore essentially have a heat flow which should lead to the thawing of frozen soil. It is interesting to see the result of the interplay between the cooling devices and this heat flow from the building. Here, the computational results are represented in a 3D form. The change in the 3D temperature field over time for the period from December 2013 to March 2015 is visualized. Temperature values are represented by color. A section of the computational domain is presented in such a way that we can see the effect of the cooling devices in operation. The same computational results can be represented clearly in the form of ISO lines on a plane. On the basis of these results, it is possible to obtain any parameter, the estimation of which is based on the temperature of the field data, for example the depth of zero amplitudes and the frozen bed. All these parameters can be determined for any moment in time that we are interested in. It is important to note that the temperature values obtained are physically plausible and there are no problems regarding the convergence or stability of the numerical method. The computational complexity of the numerical method used in the FROST3D software is two orders of magnitude lower than the implicit formulation of the finite element method used in many thermal analysis software applications available on the market. This also means the computer simulation speed in FROST3D software is significantly higher. For more information about ground freezing and mathematical modeling, you can visit our website, simmakers.com.